Hi there, and welcome to this Fusion 360 video on how to print a singular body with variable print settings, materials or colours for fused filament fabrication. This workflow will be demonstrated with this Go No Go gauge shown here. This gauge is used to check components to see whether they are within tolerance. Green indicates Go within tolerance and red indicates no go, out of tolerance. This gauge will be printed as one singular body but will be divided up into different sections each with its own set of print settings. This allows the gauge to be printed in different colours and with a varying infill density. To begin, divide the gauge body into separate sections using the split body tool in the design workspace. Having done this, Navigate to the Manufacture workspace and click New Setup. From here, an FFF machine can be selected. In this case, an Ultimaker S5 will be chosen because of its dual extrusion capabilities. An appropriate print setting will also be selected. In this case, the PLA 2.85mm print setting. Click OK to create the setup. The next step is to create the per body print settings that will be assigned to the individual sections of the gauge. These per body settings are called body presets in Fusion 360. To do this, right click on the print setting item within the setup and select edit. Create three new body presets by duplicating the normal body preset. Rename each of these appropriately and within each set the extruder to be used along with the infill density. Make sure to set the number of top and bottom layers to zero for the appropriate body presets to avoid top and bottom layers being printed in the middle of the part. Once the four body presets have been created, click OK to finish. Now. Right click again on the print setting and select Assign Body Presets. Here, assign each one to the correct gauge body sections. Click OK to confirm. Great, now the toolpath can be generated by right clicking on the toolpath item in the setup and selecting Generate. Once the toolpath is generated, which shouldn't take very long, right click again on the toolpath item and select simulate. The simulation shows the infill density varying throughout the part. Note, the colours in the simulation show the toolpath type and not the material colour. Once happy, select post process. This opens a new dialog where the toolpath can be post-processed. Make sure to assign the correct material colour and type in the post properties on the right and then select post to create your print file. Simply load the print file onto the printer and enjoy printing parts with variable print settings in Fusion 360. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Stay tuned for more videos. If you have any questions, you can reach us at the Fusion Manufacturer User Forum at forums.autodesk.com